Now that the lathe is flipped over, you can install the leveling feet. These are from McMaster Car, and I've cut the 2 inch stud down to make it a 1 inch stud. Insert the T nut and uh, adjust it to be the desired width. And then you'll need to put a lock washer and a standard washer onto the stud of the leveling foot. You flip it over, screw it right into the T nut there. Use a 5 8 inch wrench if you need to to get it being a little tighter. And you'll need a half inch wrench for that smaller uh, jam nut that you're going to have there. Once everything's tight, finger tight, you can go ahead and lock it down with the wrenches. Switching to the other side, more of the same. Put the lock washer on first, and then just the regular washer there. Screw it into the T-nut, and set your, set your height that way. Get out the tape measure and to get them close. This is a little bit tricky just because the uh, the leveling foot is kind of self-leveling on a swivel, so you have to use um, maybe the the uh, hex nut on the stud as a indicator of height. Additionally, when you're tightening it down with the wrenches, uh, there's a little pull, there's a little play in the T nut as it gets pulled uh, up against. 80-20 as it gets tightened up. So you may have to go back and forth a couple times to get the height correct. And then once you flip it over, you'll probably want to do some sort of um, adjustments. Uh, again, that, that also depends on your table. If your table is nice and flat, um, it'll probably be pretty close. But you've got a lot of play in these things, so if you have kind of an uneven surface, that's not a big deal either. repeat on the other side. 